personally assisted Nestle's looking at 400 parcels around their plant facility to figure out how to assist them with their development. We're doing the same thing with Metro Health. We've done the microenterprise 50-50 program, and we're working very strongly now with the economic development component, particularly with the Hispanic Business Center. We've already proven ourselves on the housing issues and the organizing issues. I think we've proven our model that we initiated three and a half years ago, trying to invest in a strong development corporation, utilizing the talent that we already had in the Stockyards organization and building from that. It's a model for the entire city and we've gotten recognition from foundations because of that. We have a very strong base. I want to continue that. We put in the Jones Home Historic District. We're working on a historic district on Scranton. I very much look forward in taking on the entire portion of Stockyards. I've only had part of that up until now. And I, but I've worked very strongly with people, particularly in the border areas, and I've pushed hard for the uh, support of green space and gardens. We've done a lot in the last three and a half years. We built, as I said, an extremely strong base, and I want to continue to do that. I'm very excited for the next four years, particularly because we've already begun to see over six million dollars of investment within the community, particularly on West 25th Street. We've helped Caribe Bakery, Elk and Elk is going next to the car wash, the Aragon Ballroom's under renovation. Some of these projects, I'll be honest, I'm not sure how they got started. I do know that we've been engaged talking with business people, being the brokers for what available space is there. Um, we're on the cusp of announcing a new project on the corner of Clark and Fulton. It's been in the works for a while. And this work takes time. I've committed additional monies this year to hire a second commercial manager because the commercial work is so important. We started a green, clean, and screen initiative on West 25th Street because we know we needed not only to do code enforcement, but also start to clean up our arterial streets that you asked about earlier. If people drive down West 25th Street, Store, Fulton, Denison, 41st, 44th, and they look like crap, they'll think that the neighborhood is the same. We have very strong community, strong pockets, and we're going to continue to improve the neighborhood. Thank you for helping me move the community forward. Again, I want to thank everybody for attending tonight. And with me, you're not going to have to read accomplishments on just campaign literature. And with me, you're going to know how things got done, because I'm going to let you know, because I'm going to be that individual who's going to continue to engage each and every, every one of you. I'm not here running against anybody. I'm here running for you. Um, I want to be a collaborative effort with City Hall and a strong voice for the residents of 14. Um, when I was the Wheaton Seed Project coordinator, um, and I took that very seriously, we were able to do four community events a year. Ward 14, their biggest community event was taken out of Ward 14 and put downtown. It's time to start bringing the neighborhoods and the residents back together. That's one of the things that, that you'll definitely see me um, be able to do. I want to increase the community policing efforts um, to assure that the quality of life goes up in Ward 14 and not comes down. I can tell you that after the November 5th election, uh, if I'm successful, I will hold a series of five town hall meetings and I will set up a councilmatic um, uh, advisory board that will help me um, in, the, in the learning process to go to City Hall. I know that my curve will not be big, but what it will do is I want to take five residents from each neighborhood who will have a voice in what's going to occur within the whole ward. Even though we're one big ward, we're, we're, there, there's different neighborhoods, there's different communities. Those, those different communities all have different issues. I want to know about each and every one of them. Before when I decided that I, or, or before when I was talking about running, and my wife allowed me, or gave me permission to run for Cleveland City Council. And those of you who know me out there, I have not promised one thing, but the only person that I have promised something to is my wife. And she made me assure her that these three things would not, would, or would not occur. One, I will not be a politician every four years when I need a vote. Two, I will continue to stay engaged with the residents, walk the ward, not just drive the ward, and keep the residents involved. And three, every single phone call, either by myself or my administrative assistant, will be returned within 24 hours. 
The reason for that is because I have a wife and five kids at home. If I don't take care of business out in the neighborhood, it flows over to home. My wife doesn't want the calls at 12 o'clock at night. So if I take care of what I'm going to do during the day, then the home won't be affected. My name is Brian Casey. I'm a lifelong Clevelander. I appreciate your support on not only September 10th, but November 5th. Please remember Brian Casey for Cleveland City Council, Ward 14. First of all, I want to thank all the residents of Ward 14 who came out today uh, to listen to to us as the candidates, I'd like to uh, thank the councilman, uh, Brian Cummings, Brian Casey, and, and the group that put it together. When I looked at this map, which is our ward, we're in trouble. Totally in trouble. It seemed like City Hall kids drew this map and chopped us in a different direction. From Tremont to Park Metro to Star Cars, all the way down to West 97 and 97 between uh, Denison and Park. I have walked these areas with my better half, Teresa. Have seen the streets, how bad in the different sections. Seen houses on 8th and walking today, houses are still standing open that a crime could just happen. I have a plan, and I started that eight years ago. The BRD Business Realization District gave the tools for future development for the businesses to apply for money as grants because they needed to be in the BRD District. Council one only gave me Clark Avenue. I made sure I included 25th Street. I made sure that I included Clark Metro. I made sure that Fulton was also included in order to make it easier for us to apply for those funds. I made sure that our kids have playgrounds. When the administration did not want to expand any more playgrounds, I teamed up with the school board and tried to put in playgrounds in the school for our children not to play an asphalt, for our children to have a jungle gym to play, and for our kids, when they were out of school, to have a place to play. I made sure when that strong legislation came through the city council, and the big boys from downtown wanted to rape us and take the money and pay less. I made sure I took the big stand in city council. I was not fine from the mayor, but I was fine from my residents because I took the stand for them. When you vote for us, you vote for us to be legislators. Our job is to balance the city budget. Our job is to take the biggest stand and non popular stands and defend the residents of Ward 14. And I intend to continue that kind of job. I told Frank Jackson back then when he was my council president, he said, what are the most things that you fear? I said, Jackson, I do not fear losing my job. You could have your own machine and come after me in 2005, and he did. And we got punished. We got punished in this war big time. And I'm ready to go back to fight for the rights of the people in War 14. Thank you. We want to thank each of our candidates. Uh, it is not an easy job to run for public office, and um, it's our form of government. We have three really fine candidates here tonight. We want to thank them for coming and being a part of this forum, and thank them for running for office, and thank you all for bringing up the issues that you did to this evening. I'm going to turn this over to Gloria, who will finalize us out of here. Okay, before we give them their big round of Oz, and I would second Helen. I think we have really here tonight three well qualified candidates. We've got great choices. I think we're very blessed with that. And next week, um, August 22nd, at Simpson United Methodist Church, we will be meeting our fourth candidate. And she will be here with us too. So I'm, I'm looking forward to a really great uh, community forum next week. This has been, I think, wonderful. And I want to thank all of you for coming. But before we stop, I want to thank Randy Michael, Chris 
is it Chris Hirsch? Okay. And Fawn Cassidy for being our screeners for the questions. Ah, I don't see Kate. Kate Dupuy, who is our greeter. Oh, there she is. She stood up. Who is our greeter. And Rebecca, you were fantastic as a timekeeper. You kept these guys on because you know what, people? It's 8 o'clock. So let's give everybody and yourself a great time.